The stereotypes uh, I would say that you hear often is um, people are, are not culturally um, exposed. I would say that the Minneapolis is, is an exception to that rule, perhaps a stereotype which is that uh, you hear that uh, Americans are um, still a, a tendency to think uh, more is better or big is be better and, that's, and that gives it a sort of a traditional connotation which uh, in fact uh, has been untrue for us. Uh, Minneapolis seems to be a big center for art uh, and, and, and theater and things like that. People are culturally adaptive. That's probably also due to the fact that, uh, or thanks to the fact I should say, that there is a mix of people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cultural mix here in the area. Depending on the period of the year, uh, but I would say year through, I, if I come in on a weekend day, I, I go to the lakes and I go running. And that's my, um, my favorite uh, activity on the weekend days. You can run the winter, summer, and there's a lot of people on weekend days that do uh, biking, hiking, uh, um, running there. So it's, it's a nice atmosphere because you're running or biking with a lot of people around those lakes. And I should also say that around the lakes there's a, a lot of nice communities, at least in my, uh, in my uh, view. I would say there's art, there's theater, um, there's good restaurants, uh, you, you have access to, to European food and actually living downtown apparently you can get your groceries with them in a small supermarket which is, um, which is I think part of very important because you get a sense of uh, home when you have when you're used to that.